I'm Carrie Anderson, and I'm from Bismarck, and I work at St. Alexis Medical Center. And what's your job title? Radiology technologist. Tell us about your education. Um, I went to elementary, middle school, and high school here, and then I went on to University of Mary and did four years out there. What do you do in your job? Totally depends on the day. I guess we rotate in different areas of radiology, whether it's just regular diagnostic or if we're down in surgery or if we're in floral, which is live x-ray. Um, I guess it, I, it just depends on where you're at. Every day is different. How many hours do you normally work? A week or a day? Yeah, a week. 40 hours a week. Do you take work home with you? Yeah, you have to because um, you have to do continuing education. It's always, the field's always changing, so you have to just kind of, to meet your hospital standards, you have to meet. So. To keep your license, you have to do all these education things, whether they're these magazines, quizzes, tests, yeah. How would you describe the pace at which you work? Very fast. Um, all of our patients are critical, so you have to do your, you have to work quickly and efficiently, I guess, yeah. How has your education prepared you for your career? I would say um, my college education was, my first two years were all the book work of everything and my last two years were so hands on that once I graduated I didn't need any on the job training. They, I knew what was expected of me and how to do my job from morning till I left at four. Why did you choose this career? I guess when growing up in high school I was a cheerleader and I, I, mean, I bet you I was in the ER once a month for hurt something, broken this, broken that. and. You know, right away that kind of intrigued me, but then once I looked into it, I kind of um, loved the technology aspect of it and how every year radiology imaging is coming out with all new equipment. So it's a changing field and it's growing. What goals do you have in your career? I guess to just gain as much confidence as you can. You work one-on-one -on -one with doctors a lot and that can be intimidating. So just to gain your bearings and be confident in everything. What do you think it takes to be successful in this career? I think confidence, a good attitude, and absolute, absolutely teamwork. Do you travel for your job? Rarely. Um, it just depends. There is a traveling radiology job where you do um, where you travel with like mobile equipment and you go to like small towns and stuff where they don't have these type of equipments but um, otherwise we will travel very very far we'll travel out to site visits to see what type of equipment they have so are you Carrie? yes and you must be Brianna yes okay we got to figure out each other yes yep. we found each other good okay all good. right couple more questions what sure. do you find are the most difficult decisions to make I think when it involves pediatrics, um, it's so, everything with them is so legal based so you almost can't make a mistake with them because it'll come back in courts or everything is very life threatening with them so I think, you know, you sometimes you have to make a judgment call and it's scary when it's a kid versus an adult, I think, for me. Do you work independently or on a team? Both. Um, we Sometimes we have to work independently but our job is much easier and you work more efficiently as a team. Can you give me some examples of teamwork? Yep, um, a lot of our patients can't stand, can't move, um, so it takes a couple of us to lift them over or some person to stand with the patient with the lead aprons on while the other person exposes or does your paperwork. Um, definitely need a teamwork. And any advice that you would give to a high schooler who thinks they might be interested in this career field? Definitely job shadow. Um, X-ray is not, or radiology is not just coming in if your wrist is hurt and getting a fracture or taking just plain films of that. X-ray is ultrasound, CT, MRI, radiation therapy, um, and it goes. The list goes on and on and on. And that's what I love about our field. A lot of people just think it's like, okay, you come in and um, you just put your hand on here and that's it. There's a lot of intricate angles and views the doctors are specifically looking for. So. It's a lot more to it than that, so I think it's just important to get in and job shadow.